my name is Paul Susmill. I'm the choir director here at Rockbrook United Methodist Church here in Omaha. Seated at the organ is our organist, Tatiana Belstorff. A little bit about our organ. It's an Austin organ with 30 ranks of pipes. It has been in our church since 1966 when this sanctuary was built. We purchased the organ from All Saints Episcopal Church. Their church uh, previously had been downtown, and unfortunately, the, their church um, was destroyed by fire, but the organ was saved, and it was put into storage. The organ was restored and built into our present sanctuary we have today. It has undergone a couple of restorations, and now it is time for another. Just like any other mechanical device, parts wear out or simply need to be updated. The majority of the work will be on the console, which is the command center of the organ. Here we have three sets of keys called manuals. Each manual has 61 keys and it encompasses five octaves each. We have the pedals and we have the stops, which I'm going to call stop switches because they really are switches. The entire interior of the console is old and parts are obsolete, meaning if something breaks, we cannot replace it. We plan to keep the original cabinet and replace the mechanics of the console, so all of this will be new. We are now inside the organ chamber itself. When the organ was installed in 1966, the church had to create this space to house the pipes, air reservoirs, and other mechanics that make the organ operate. As stated before, we have a 30 rank organ, which means we have 30 sets of pipes. Each rank or set contains 61 pipes, one pipe for each key in a manual that we saw earlier on the console. The controls on the console send electronic signals to the organ chamber and tells the organ which pipes should be played. Mechanisms called stops regulate which pipes should sound and which pipes should be, remain silent. Depressing a stop key on the organ console will activate certain ranks of pipes to play and it will allow air to flow through the pipes. The pipes are various sizes and you might notice that some are metal and some are wooden. Some of them are different sizes, some of them are different shapes and they're all designed like that to have different sounds or in music we call them timbres. It's kind of designed to sound like an orchestra and different families of instruments in the orchestra. The pipes are various sizes as stated before. Depending on the pitch of each pipe, the larger the pipe, the lower the pitch. As you can see, there are many large pipes and they gradually decrease in size to pipes that are no bigger around than your little finger. Some of these pipes have been dented and need to be sent off to a workshop to be repaired. Some of the mechanics of the toe or bottom of the pipe need to be replaced because of normal wear and tear. This is a very important part of the pipe because that's where the air enters and there are a lot of mechanics down there and they um, need to be adjusted and replaced sometimes. There is work to be done inside the, the two air reservoirs that store and control the amount of air that goes through the pipes. Think of air reservoirs as the lungs of the organ. We have a few pipes that are located in areas that cannot be reached for tuning. These pipes will be relocated to accommodate the work of tuning and upkeep. The work will be done by highly trained professionals. Some of the work will be done on site, but some of it will have to be completed in workshops off campus. The work on this rebuild is extensive and reflected in the price. 
When all of this is completed, we will have spent nearly $170,000. Work should begin in a little over a year and will most likely take a year to complete. We have half the money raised by some very generous people in our congregation, but we need to raise another $85,000 in order to get started. By the way, the replacement value of this orphan would be around $855,000. It is in our best interest to keep the organ in good repair. We value our wonderful instrument here at Rockbrook and know that it has been part of Omaha's history for nearly 100 years. We've had guest organists who remark when they come to play that they learned how to play on this very instrument when it was in a previous location. We have had concerts at our church with organists who are members of the Omaha chapter of the American Guild of Organists. We need your help. If you would like to contribute to the tradition of this wonderful instrument, please consider donating any amount to the cause of rebuilding and refurbishing the Austin organ here at Rockbrook United Methodist Church. We would appreciate your financial help very much. Thank you.